Hey, good morning, Emily. Good morning. You're right on time. Do me a favor. Would you uh, start with the washroom today before you clean up the kitchen? Sure. I'll start right away. Thank you. You know, traffic was insane. So you're making it sound so much fun. I can't believe you did that. Yeah, it was so good. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I hope it's busy today. I really need the money. All the staff, come with me. Today, we have to make some changes in the seating arrangements to accommodate a large reservation for lunch. Clean the tables, put them together with chairs Samantha, on both sides. Samantha, here comes the supermodel. <laughs> yeah, she's the supermodel of her own street corner. <laughs> Can we talk to you? Sure. Yeah, we have a problem. What kind of problem? It's Emily. Emily? Emily doesn't look like a troublemaker to me. Well, this is a restaurant and she is very inappropriate. Her makeup and her clothes and her whole look is just so unprofessional. Honestly, it's making us really uncomfortable. Samantha, I know it's not ideal, but that doesn't get in the way of her work. She's just a janitor. She's not even a serving staff like the rest of us. We have to face the customers. You need to have a dress code for everybody. The dress code's a great idea. It would give us a sense of team unity. You have a point. Dress code may be okay. I'll talk to Emily. Emily, can I talk to you for a minute? I hate to do this, but there has been a complaint. Complaint? Normally you wouldn't care what you wear to work as long as you get the work done. But some others feel that it would be more professional and build in some sort of a team, team unity if there was a dress code. Dress code? What does that mean exactly? Well, you should be able to wear whatever you want, but within parameters. That uh, maybe lighter makeup and sensible shoes. But what does any of that have to do with the job? I am your best employee. I'm always the first one here. I never complain and I never miss a spot. You know, before I started here, I worked as a model. Being in that industry, I learned to put on a show every day. I wore that mask so long that I didn't know where it started or ended. And I just- Sorry, I have to cut you off. But I know you were a model. But this is not a runway, and your work is excellent. But I have to agree with others. You need to tone it down a bit. Okay, I understand. Put in a dress code, do what you need to do. But I am a good damn employee. No matter how I look, I'm not going to change it unless it affects the quality of my work. Hey, I've noticed you around. Hey, I just wanted to tell you how beautiful you are. Hey, come on. Can I at least get your number? Come on, it's it's just a number. What I have the to make hell, a... oh, Ryan? Shit. What are you doing talking to that whore? Are you kidding me? Yes, you were. This is the third time I've called you talking to someone. Hey, what happened last night was not cute. 
I know you're desperate, but trying to steal someone else's man is low. Even for you. He came up to me. So just leave me alone. You don't get to make a pass at my man and then just act like nothing happened. You prance around all the time, begging for attention. I'm not interested in your boyfriend. You think you're so above it all. But in the end, what do you actually have? No friends and no boyfriend. You are pathetic. I said let go. Now let's see what a freak you are without all this makeup on. Then you won't have anything to hide behind. What's wrong with you people? Why couldn't you just leave me alone? I didn't wear this makeup to be better than anyone. I want to hide. When I'm mortal, this makeup gave me so much confidence. Like I could be anyone I wanted to be. But my agent, he took our relationship as something else. And when I said no, he, he just had acid thrown at me. I thought I could come here and start over. But you guys would never let me start over. The scars you made on my heart it just cuts deeper than these ones. 